What's what? going on guys, Debo here, and today we're gonna be doing a story time of sorts. Um, anyway... Gotta get into the rift. I'm gonna mm -hmm. start the story off by saying it's a time that I got followed by a car and was scared to get... I was gonna get kidnapped. Anyway... So it all started a normal day, hanging out with my friends in the summertime. I was hanging out with my friends, chilling, doing everything normal people do. As I was doing that, it was becoming nighttime. So I was like, oh, context of the story, I had a broken bike. So it made me walk really, really slow. So it was, it had to be there because I needed the bike to come home. But I would walk really, really slow and it was nighttime. So I was kind of scared to start walking because nighttime is scary. I'm scared of the dark. There you go. Now you guys know. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, so my friend, he offered to walk with me and I'm like, yeah, that if you, got, if you would want to do that, that'd be very helpful. And he's like, yeah, I'll walk with you. Sure. But anyway, on the like literally one street in, I walk like one street off walking down the street. I look, I look behind me and there's this car, this car, he, he's sitting He's sitting there, but not in a normal parking spot, not in the parking, not beside the road. No, he's sitting right in front. Like, he's sitting in front of, uh, of the driveway, of the front of the driveway. And, uh, I'm like, okay, maybe he's just picking someone up or dropping off, dropping off a delivery or something. In my mind, I'm like, okay, nothing of it. Then, as we keep walking... And we keep walking, and I'm like, okay. And then I hear the car following me. And I'm like, really? So this is what's happening. So I look back, and yep, you guessed it, he's following. And then I'm like, well, that's not fun. That's not epic. And so I'm like, okay, a friend to my buddy. I'm like, what are we going to do here? Being clearly being followed. And he's like, I don't know, and I'm like, quick thinking that I am, I'm like, alright, let's get in this driveway. And then I'm like, and he's like, okay. And so we're sitting in a random driveway. Ren, no, don't even know this guy. Chilling in the driveway. And he's like, um, is this what we have to do? And I'm like, yeah, I think so. And so I call people, I'm like, anyone want to come with us so we don't have to go through this and get death or kidnapped or something i don't know i don't know i was i was thinking the worst i was thinking the worst maybe he was just lost and trying to ask us something i was thinking the worst and so my friend brings a car and uh drives beside us and so she's driving beside us as we're walking down the street and we're walking down the street and driving beside us anyway um i was like okay so so uh, that's what's gonna happen, and uh, we get to the stoplight. And as I'm at the stoplight, I'm like, "This is gonna be uh, fun, isn't it?" And I'm at the stoplight, thinking, "We're good. We have a follower. We're chilling, relaxing." Here. And um, as I think we're relaxing, I see the car at the stoplight. Mm -hmm. No shit, you not. I look at the stop, like, car, car is there, just chilling, thinking nothing of it, probably still looking for us, and then he sees a car beside us, and I'm like, ha ha, and I'm like, he, he's lost, he's lost, I'm still scared that he's gonna reverse back after the car leaves, because the car leaves pretty much at the stop, like, the car that's chasing us goes that way, and the car that was following us goes straight, anyway. Um, I'm like, okay, and then I'm like, uh, hey, bud, I, I was telling my friend, I'm like, but I don't want to go home right now, because this bike is going to take a while to push home, and I'm going to be tripped out the whole time, and he's like, I can ask if you can sleep over, and I'm like, sure, is that fine with you, and he's like, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, and so I'm like, all right, and I'm sleep I'm sleeping over at his house, I'm like, in the morning, it's like, it's morning, I'm push the bike, and then I'm like, but I had to, so I had to work that time. So I'm like, maybe I won't push the bike. And after the fact, I was pushing the bike. 
I'm like, I'm not gonna push the bike. And so I go to work, I'm think nothing of it. Bike's locked up in my friend's house. And uh, that's that. That's that. And then um, he's like, okay, so is that what you wanna do? And I'm like, I'll push it later. Other decision is that when I was gonna do it, I was gonna push the thing. I pushed the one with the one time I had four people pushing the bike. Four people when we're, when we're finally getting into my house. It took us about five hours to do it. It took us five hours to finish this. And I'm like, okay, that's what's gonna go on. And so I pushed the bike for a solid five hours. And I was just chilling. I was like, okay, I think nothing of it. Chill for five hours and uh, bike. Bike's done. And that's, we pushed the bike, got the bike home, and uh, I thought nothing of it, told my parents about it. And it. Wasn't, like, I wasn't worried. I think it was the end of it, and it was. So that was the story. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, stay epic and subscribe.